What is going on YouTube? First of all, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for all the latest UK media updates and story videos and follow us on Instagram at Fezzify to be updated daily with all the latest stuff going on. So we're going to be doing Jordan on the story episode 21. I want to do loads more episodes of the story. So comment below who you want to see next. As always, there's a few people of mine like Bugsy Malone. Uh, just comment below and I will look through the comments and I'll always reply to you guys. And if this hits 1000 likes, there'll be a new episode on Friday. <laughs> As always, we start with the intro and facts. Jordan's real name is Jordan McCann. He's around 25 to 26 years old. The exact number is not on Google. He grew up in Salford and he's very well known there. He was famous before this rap stuff. It just made his buzz 10 times bigger. He's grew up part of seven kids, uh, a single mum, and his dad passed away in jail. Um, he's been in and out of the system from a very, very young age. His music rise changed his life, but still he managed to get pulled back into that life because he's very well known where he's from. He's got a brother called Patrick McCann. He's inside currently right now as well, and he's also very well known. A notorious family. You really see said in his fire in the booth how they portrayed the image of his mother to be a gangster when she could barely walk and would ache when she walks, let alone they still glorified it. Lot the stuff gets exaggerated in the media and despite Jordan really coming from it he also is a normal person that comes from a loving family and has deep love for his mother which he's expressed in numerous songs. A lot of respect for Jordan because he's actually put his area on the map and some other guys are coming through now. It's a big part of who he is where he's from and he pays tribute to that on nearly every song shouting out his area. A rough childhood and finding music has been a big thing for him and if he didn't he'd probably still be in jail now because he was always in and out and had a very rough childhood. He has been blasted all over the media constantly and after his debut track got recalled to prison and every time he takes a step forward it's like he gets a step back. Credit to this guy for still pursuing music and having the energy to prosper despite all the setbacks from the police and the mainstream media. As for Jordan's rise on the music scene, he put out his first debut track, Lifestyle, which went crazy and got a million views very quickly, but on that song he had violent lyrics and he got recalled to prison. He was talking about his girl on that song and that's one of his best songs to date and he's still, still very early on the scene so there's not too much work to go through. While he was inside, a track dropped with ads which was called old friends that got 7.4 million views and is his most viewed song to date his image was still getting tapped on the outside while he was in jail but he was dropping music they then dropped a song called took me back which is on 2.8 million views in just 10 months jordan come home just on a lockdown and dropped a song called f rappers that's on 3.2 million views in four months he talked a lot of stuff in that song and it's good to see him home focused on music just recently dropped a fire in the booth which is on 600k in two days a lot of people are saying it's one of the greatest fire in the booths of all time it's safe to say there's a lot to come from jordan and he is so early on in his career getting a setback and getting recalled has been a huge factor and while there's not a lot of music out there yet but something like an ep or a mixtape should be coming soon from him i'm sure for all this lockdown going on he probably should release it soon but i want to see a lot more work from him and definitely a first project I had dreams for this rap, then my dream got smashed Took me back to a freezing pad I missed my AP, it was bad Can't even talk about this last year, it's sad I don't wanna talk about it, don't ask Different lifestyle, the feel in my tracks I dragged dealers out of beamers with hyenas, that's fact I was home for a week, slipping sweets in wax I went to every estate, tell the streets that I'm back I said Salford on the map, all the Salford went mad Free came, fuck the rats, now they got their mums whacked I miss my brother Ryan Mack, remember sitting in my black Slipping bullets in my strap, thinking when I let this off Please are coming through my gap They know it's tit for tat, but I still let it slap Put the metal back, at the pecky bath Booty's fucking up my grass, my work is getting snatched As for Jordan's criminal history, like I said, he's been in and out of the system since a very, very young age. But in 2016, him, his mum and brother was handed a gangbo injunction, meaning it was banned from certain places in Salford because there was a lot of tit-for-tat shootings and there was a lot of stuff going on in the area where people were getting seriously hurt. And they believed the McCanns had a big play in the forefront of all this wrong doing. When Jordan dropped Lifestyle, he was coming back from a six year sentence. He was jailed for six and a half years at Manchester Crown Court for having cannabis and cocaine with intent to supply. He tried to appeal his sentence, but he was first caught in 2014 of July when police raided his home and found a thousand pound worth of cannabis and digital scales. Of course, the police analyzed their mobile phones and found there was text messages relating to the sale of drugs. 
Jordan served around half the sentence, he come home, he dropped lifestyle and due to regulations in place to keep you sort of out of crime, the police must do all these sort of things you got to obey by and Jordan must have broken that because he was sent back to prison for a further year or so where everyone be waiting on him and music videos will be dropping while he was inside. In March 2020, Jordan come home and hopefully now he's focused on music. He's got a massive opportunity, consistently get a million views every song he drops. Features and stuff can take him to that next level. And this guy can become one of the biggest rappers out of Manchester and the UK alone. He's definitely got that talent. Jordan said he spent almost a decade, nine years of his life inside. So hopefully he can spend the next decade, ten years focused on his music. And I'm sure he'll be a lot happier. I wanted to touch on Jordan's brother as well because he's also a rapper and there's footage out there of him rapping. His brother is called Patrick McCann. He's 32 years old of the time he went inside and he got arrested for conspiracy to possess a firearm with intent to endanger life and got a hefty sentence. He will be serving 17 years inside. He's a bit into that sentence but it's safe to say he won't be seen him for a while and it'd be interesting to see if Patrick pursues a rap career. Now his brother's got a huge buzz. If they jumped on a track together, that would be crazy. It's safe to say Jordan's come a long way from where he grew up and the situations he found himself in early age in to now being a successful rapper in the UK but his future depends on whether he can keep himself out of trouble a lot of people try a lot of people fail and some people have done it really well like rappers like K Coke very similar example keeps getting pulled back in he was in prison last year Jordan's got to try and stay on the right path staying in the studio and stay around other rappers and the right people can do that for him who do you guys want to see on the story next make sure you comment below I've got a few people in mind like I said Bugsy Malone's gonna be coming soon a lot of people suggesting other people that are relatively new there's not too much info on them so it's hard to make a full story yet but people like meeks and millions coming through i can make a little insight video on my second channel make sure you subscribe to rapsify my second channel but a story is hard to make on them but listen see you guys in my next video this hits 1000 likes guys smash that like button right now if you're watching this because if this hits a thousand likes i'm going to drop another the story video on this friday which is literally the end of the week two in one week it'll probably be another british guy so make sure you look out for that and i'll see you in my next video peace out